Camera to texture is when you have a camera in your scene and what it renders is turned into a texture instead of going directly to the screen. This allows for a whole world of possible effects. For instance, we can now take that texture and add some post-processing effects onto it and then send it to the screen, adding some level of next-gen-ish feel. But today we will be talking about the simplest form, using it to texture a quad in our scene. This alone has multiple uses, such as making it really easy to make a 2D arcade game within your 3D world, on an actual arcade machine, or add some neat effects, such as real-time reflections. Super Mario Sunshine used this trick with the wet water and the big mirrors on the beach. This was done by basing the position of the reflection camera on the position of the player's camera. It's quite simple. Using Y as up, the X and Z positions of the reflection camera was the same as the one of the player's camera. The Y on the other hand was the negative equivalent of the player's camera offset by the reflection surface's Y position. So we mirrored the camera, what now? Now we do the same to the rotation of the camera, the same basic procedure. The pitch of the reflection camera is the opposite of that of the player's camera's pitch. This makes a crossing point. The reflection is now complete. If you were to draw the reflection ray, you would see it gives us the same result. Now the quality of the reflection is based on two things. One, resolution, the higher the better, the more expensive. Find the right balance. Two, the reflected models. Unlike a ray traced reflection, using camera to texture means we need to render the scene a second time, doubling the amount of polygons to draw in a single frame. But because it's a second camera, it doesn't need to render the same scene. So we could render the reflection using lower potty models, even managing to remove some completely. Next time you play Mario Sunshine, notice that the flood isn't being reflected, only the water tank and Mario. This is just the basic version. The math I gave here are based off a flat reflection, but you just add some parenting offset to the reflection surface and you're done. There are other ways of doing reflections. For instance, there is screen space reflections that I'm not too fond of. It looks okay sometimes. I know the Unreal Engine uses it, and I think it looks ugly most of the time, but it might be better than GTA 5's dynamic skybox for a reflection. It's like the camera to texture reflection, but they rendered a scene six times to create a skybox that is used for almost every reflective surface. This gives some backwards results when looking at just a reflection. It might have looked nicer using some screen space reflection here and there, but that might be for a later video. For now, I hope you learned something new, and I wish you all a good day.